I like to say that safety isn't everything, it's the only thing. After you've had a crash, nothing else matters. Safety is critical, and in our industry, it's the only thing that makes aviation possible. The airlines have set the standard. The day before Thanksgiving, over 23 million people flew. We didn't have a single crash. We can't say that in general aviation. We can get a lot closer if we can start to simplify the flight control aspects of aircraft. That's going to improve things tremendously. Hey, Mark, good hey, to see Mark. you again. Good to see yeah. you again. Mark Bruce Lansbury. Hey, NTSB. Bruce, good to meet you. Skyrise is bringing fly-by-wire technology to general aviation. Obviously, the underpinnings of this technology, it's all about safety. But the real innovation is we actually started with a human and we worked our way backwards, getting our system to feel intuitive and natural and not require, you know, this huge uptake of training to get in the cockpit. I've got to study a manual this thick, and if I don't fly the thing regularly, it degrades. That's right, you do. You're about to go and experience about 15 minutes of training, and you're going to be capable of flying skids up to skids down in a helicopter. The problem is to get somebody off the street and say, can you teach it to them? That's you today. <laughs> what? To see if it's intuitive. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Well, very nice to meet you guys. Let's go ahead and just pick it up by sliding the... This is going yep. to pick up yep. the hover. Yep. With this capability of being able to do a pickup to a hover and then a set down from a hover, which are, you know, very difficult maneuvers, that's a big plus to the safety aspects of the helicopter. Can I just put the heading in there? Yeah, if you wanted to do that. All right, that, so I want to do a 270 and I want to go left. I like to be very specific. I like the fact that you can punch in what you want it to happen. And just let it go. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we'll go over to the far side of the runway. Okay. So I'll let go of that. Yep, and everything, now you're... Now you're, it's, it's just doing its, it's thing. It's doing its thing. Okay. Wonderful. Simpler is safer. The automation is more reliable than the pilots. If we can apply that into general aviation, we come a long way forward. Now we get to go do it in real life. Clutches are engaged, so now everything is engaged. We're just in like automated it was. mode. Yep. So go ahead and pick us up. Beautiful hover, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> what a sensation! Yeah. I'm Easy. flying. The training was very helpful in starting to get a feel for how the machine would behave when we got into the actual helicopter. We're going to come back around to the left. Now. Okay. It flies just like an R44, the R44 I fly, so it was pretty amazing. I do see that I can tighten up the turn, which is nice. One of the things that we've been lacking for a long time is the ability to go IFR flying in the clouds with small helicopters. Put a thousand feet in there, beautiful. Now, NTSB has recommendations that you should fly IFR if you're carrying passengers. The ability that this system brings to do that all the time is there, and is there today. So the question is, how long are we going to wait before we implement it? All the brains and the hard stuff is being done behind the scenes so that the people operating the machine don't need to have that split-second, quick reflex kind of, of decision-making skills, and they don't have to keep practicing it all the time because the hardware is forgiving. That's the key thing. So I'm going to start with my left face, and I'm going to start slowing down. So I could do both of them together? Yeah, you can do both of them together. It looks like you are. It's got a lot of capability, which is awesome. Now I'll swipe set down. Wow. You're on the cutting edge here. This will be a quantum leap forward when we have the ability for someone with less than a very high level of skill being able to control something as complex as a helicopter.